Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. The Lord will keep you from every harm and He will watch over your life today and beyond in the name of Jesus, according to His promise in Psalm 121 verse 7. Hallelujah. What does it mean to be a disciple and why is it even important for us to seek discipleship? You know why? It is because God's ultimate desire for you is that you grow into becoming a disciple. In fact, if you're not growing into discipleship, you are not growing at all, irrespective of how long you have been a Christian. It doesn't matter how many times you go to church. As far as God is concerned, you are not growing at all if you are not growing into discipleship. Because the plan in the heart of God is that when you come into the kingdom of God as a baby Christian, the next thing you want to do is to start growing into discipleship, becoming a disciple of Jesus, which is why the Great Commission is not about going to preach to people. The Great Commission is about turning men into disciples. If you read your Bible in Matthew 28, it is clearly written there. If you are not becoming a disciple, the truth is that consciously or unconsciously you are actually causing trouble for the kingdom of God. Not really because you're such a bad person, but simply because you are largely ignorant of what the life of Christ really is all about. A lot of time, your lifestyle would negate the principles of Christ. So you'll be unconsciously causing problems for the kingdom of God. And honestly, you'll be embarrassing heaven because it'll be very easy for the devil to topple you over because you're not a disciple. There is a sort of fabric, spiritual fabric that disciples are made of. Somebody like Job was a disciple. That is why no matter what the enemy threw at him, he didn't buckle under pressure. That was why God was confident to make a boast concerning Job. If you read Job chapter 1, God made a boast. He said, have you considered my servant Job? Why God made that comment is because he knew that Job was someone who had followed the tenets of the word of God. Let's read Job 1.8. He said, then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless an upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. These are some of the signs or symptoms of a disciple because of the training process and the stretching that God has taken that disciple through. So that is why God was able to make a boast on the life of Job. So being a disciple is something that God has in his heart for you. It is a plan of God for your life. Just like we said yesterday, many things God will reveal to a disciple. A regular believer will never, ever, and can never have access to it. The mysteries of the kingdom are released and revealed to disciples. A Christian who just goes to church and comes back, who has been in church for a long time, but is not a disciple, will not have access to it. So what exactly does it mean to be a disciple? If you follow that devotion yesterday, we did say that the first sign or the first step of being a disciple is to make up your mind, decide in your heart, you know what? I want to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. If you do not make up your mind and desire it, you're going to live just anyhow. You're going to live carelessly and you end up not following the pattern of a disciple. So Luke chapter 9 verse 23, he says, and he said to them all, whoever wants to be my disciple, this is the first place it starts. You have to want to be a disciple. He now continues by saying, they must deny themselves. That is the second symptom or the second step of being a disciple. The first step is you must want to be a disciple. The second step, the Bible says, they must what deny themselves. So the big question is, what exactly does it mean to deny yourself? Well, basically, it means you are now willing to renounce any so-called right to plan or to choose for yourself. You now recognize the lordship of Jesus in every area of your life. So it's no more about you. The world will stop revolving around you. It will not begin to revolve around what Jesus wants, not what you want anymore. If you look at Isaiah, when he saw the Lord in Isaiah chapter 6, he had a response. You know, when God said, okay, who 
shall I send who will go for us? Isaiah now said, here I am, send me. In other words, his own agenda was no longer important. It is only God's agenda that counts. You won't wake up and say, I'm going to be a medical doctor. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to travel to Israel tomorrow. No, all those things are for people who are not disciples. A disciple will deny himself. It's no more about you. You're no more the focus. That means that Jesus has a right to say, you know what, all the money you can give it to this poor person. All the money you can give it to this or give it to this or give it to that. That is why very few people are on the journey of discipleship because it is a tough journey. Remember the rich young ruler? His story is in Mark 10. If you read from verse 17 downwards, you see the story. You know, the man said, oh, I want to inherit eternal life. And Jesus said, okay, you know what? Obey the commands. And he said, oh, I'm obeying all the commands. And then Jesus said, okay, you know what? Next, I want you to go and sell everything you have and give it to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven. Then come and follow me. The Bible says in verse 22, at this The man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. So the problem here is that the man was willing to, you know, obey the commands, but he was not willing to be a disciple because a disciple lets go of his own agenda and he picks up God's own agenda. It just simply means choosing and desiring whatever Christ wants. It means that even if you are going to suffer, if you're going to be persecuted, just like Jesus was, you are willing to take it. Some people will be killed because they are disciples. If you see what happened to the life of the disciples that work with Jesus, that is exactly what you should expect. You're going to lose a lot of things in the physical because it's all about what Jesus wants. I know to follow what Jesus wants will mean you're going to be against the world. Maybe in your office, you're going to be that one that's going to be morally upright. You're going to do every single thing that Jesus said, even if other people are going to get you know offended perhaps they said oh let's gang up in the office and say this or do this or do that but you know that you know this is wrong you're not going to do it and so you're going to be blacklisted you're going to suffer a lot of persecution but you don't mind because you are a disciple that is why jesus said the sign of being a disciple or if you want to be my disciple then you are going to deny yourself what it means that Jesus' glory comes first. A true disciple must daily submit to Christ's authority over every area of your life, even if it means dying for the king. That's what you are going to do. So disciples are the ones that actually suffer for Jesus. Consider this about your relationship with God. Think about it carefully and answer it. Are you going into a relationship with God because of what you can get out of it? It will help me go to heaven in case I have needs. It will make God will meet my needs. God will heal my body. Or are you walking with Jesus thinking of what you can be used for in the kingdom of God? When a disciple wakes up in the morning, he's thinking of how God can use him to advance the course of his kingdom well a baby christian or someone who's not a disciple is basically thinking of himself all his prayer points if you check your prayer point it will tell you whether you're a disciple or not a disciple is thinking about praying about the advancement of the kingdom while the regular believer is praying oh my job my house my wife my health my all of those things is all about you but a disciple is all about the kingdom of god but they have the highest reward ever because they follow Jesus for Jesus and for the advancement of the kingdom and not for themselves. That is what it means to deny self. It's no more about you. Everything about your life now becomes about Jesus Christ. You seem crazy to the world, but Jesus will give you a big thumbs up. Thank you for listening. God bless you. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks. From Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeks Alfred.